This video covers the general operation and maintenance for your new equipment. Every operator should watch this video before using the machine. Provided with your machine was an operator's manual. If you have not read this document, please pause this video and do so before continuing. This video provides information that is general and not tailored for your specific cleaning application. It does not take into consideration the health and safety risks specific to your application. Due to the many and various cleaning applications, the manufacturer, importer, distributor or seller of this equipment is not responsible for its performance. So, let's get into it. Just a quick um, demonstration on how to operate this machine. Very easy to un take the cable off. Two clips can be folded down and the whole cable can then be removed and obviously therefore plugged in. Okay, we've got two tanks on this machine. One we've got which is our basically tank to hold our clean water which can very easily be removed by picking up these um, levers and the tank itself comes off. Now this tank can be easily filled in a sink because it can be laid on its side and get into a small sink um, and it can obviously stand up then by itself. The machine then has a little tank on the rear here which basically captures your um, your waste water which can be easily removed. So the way this machine operates is we've got two brushes on this machine. Now these two cylindrical brushes spin and rotate inwardly picking up all the dirt on your floor and flicking it onto this centre drum. This centre drum then rotates at a slower speed and then puts all your material then into your waste compartment. To remove the brushes is very easily. It's just got a one shaft here which can be very easily pulled out. It's just got a little locking ball bearing each end to stop it coming out on its own accord and the brush can then be removed. There are two types of brushes for this machine. One which is the black one which is what we call a standard brush. This brush can be used on all types of surfaces including carpet. It's their most popular brush and being a softer brush will leave your floor a lot drier than what this other harder brush will do. Now this is our, the blue brush which is a harder, a bit more aggressive brush, more used on flooring such as non-slip flooring, flooring which is a bit more aggressive and obviously um, flooring that's a lot more an older floor which is a lot more dirty. But that can also be used and clipped in just like that. Now when the machine operates, basically these wheels here, roll the wheels, will then fold up into the machine and allow the whole machine to sit right on top of these brushes. That means that being, it's not a heavy machine, around about the 20 to 25 kilos, but we're, we're using the whole weight of the machine then to put downward pressure in view of cleaning your floor. Now the fact that it's got two cylindrical rollers, this allows it to get into your grout grooves if you've got tiles, um, get into a lot of flooring that's a little bit more perforated or uneven flooring. Now this here on the side of the machine is basically a height adjustment. This here allows the wheels to come up to a certain height setting. That is if I've got it right up it allows me to give me more downward pressure. Um, so it basically brings the wheels up further and you're giving it more downward pressure. So this can be adjusted as the brushes wear, we can obviously bring it up. On this side is our off and on switch. If the switch is down, it means that we can transport the machine by just rolling it on its wheels. And if the machine is up, that will then allow the machine to run. By pulling the handle on the top here, this will release the water. So the tank can go back on, click into position, then lock it so that it's secured. We can then release water, 
drop the handle and the machine will run. There's also a circuit breaker here in case the machine overloads and trips a the circuit, there's a safety circuit breaker here. So if the machine overloads, it'll pop that out and that can be reset. Thank you for your time, and we hope this video has been helpful. Remember that regular maintenance of your machine is recommended to optimise its life cycle.